CSS Grid, a system for laying out items across a movable set of horizontal and vertical lines. Inside a grid, we have invisible lines that divide columns and rows. The space between two parallel grid lines is known as a grid track, and the space between four lines is known as a grid area. In your HTML, start with a parent element to serve as your grid container. Then all of its children will automatically become grid items. Let's imagine we wanted to build a website with a holy grail layout. In the HTML, we have a container with five elements inside. We'll start by setting the container's display property to grid. Now open your app in Firefox to visualize the grid lines, tracks, and areas. It helps to imagine your website as an Excel spreadsheet. In each individual cell, add a label that represents the element that should appear there. Each cell in the grid represents one fractional unit. In the middle, we have an advertisement, the main content, and the sidebar. Then we have the top bar taking up three cells on the top and the footer on the bottom. Notice how this represents a 3x3 grid, and we can use this as the value for the grid template areas property. Now, we need to tell the children which grid area that they take up. We can do that by providing the name to the grid area property. That gives us the right layout, but now we want to adjust the size of the rows and columns. Currently, each column is taking up one third or one fractional unit of the available space. We can change the width of the middle column by setting it to a fixed pixel value, or change the ratio by giving it three fractional units. Likewise, we can change the height of rows using the grid template rows property. If we want to add spacing between our grid lines, we can use the grid gap property. And we can center the children vertically or horizontally using justify items or align items. And make sure to check out the min, max, and repeat functions to avoid duplication on larger grids. This has been CSS Grid in 100 seconds. Stay tuned for a full grid project in a few days. And make sure to hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.